What's up guys, I'm Zach, I'm the lead investigator for Flood Moon Paranormal. We decided to put together a photo analysis for Ashmore Estates, that, an investigation that we went to a while ago. I put this together and they put it together, they're all part of this. So we hope you guys enjoy this episode and hope you're surprised with the ending result of it and some of the photographs that we caught. So let's get started. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's let's try this. I like that. What's up guys? That's when you got touched, I know that when we were taking pictures when you were at the end of the hallway. Um uh there's an orb on your side next to the walkie talkie cord. I know it was kinda weird because like when we were there, it was there was something like pressing down your uh the sleeve. Well, it looks like you got grabbed by the arms. It looks like like you really feel like something's like grabbing onto you. Is there? I mean, I looks weird because you almost your sweater to me it looks like it almost looks kind of like staticky. In a way. I don't know why. Just that's how I feel. Like that's what it looks like. Yeah, I see something like right there. You see like above your arm, like just, how do I describe this? Yeah, don't you see it? Yeah, right I, there. I'm asking you where do you see it? Is like, I mean, is, is the thing gonna be right here? Where, yeah, where it's you gonna, gonna be like right there. Like. Okay, guys, <laughs> stick my head in it. <laughs> um, uh, you're gonna. I'm probably. Oh, that feature Zach. Yeah, you're gonna put it like right here. So it, it looks like it's on my hand. Like, yeah. <laughs> this one right here, this. This is crazy. We were taking some photos for a. Uh, for like this cover or whatever. And, uh,. I was waiting, I was down the hallway, and I was waiting for him to, uh, take the picture, and he took it, and I, my arm was grabbed, and I was just like, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, come on, let's take the picture ready, and I yelled down the hallway, I'm like, guys, come down, it's grabbing me, so they quickly all ran down, and, um, they started taking pictures of my arm, and this is obviously the end result, if you look by my arm, you can kind of see the crease of where it was grabbing my arm, as well as a couple orbs around it, so, that's pretty cool, um, that was a really interesting experience being grabbed by, on the arm like that. It was, that it was pretty awesome. That it's like right there. It's like, I don't know, I guess if it was something with the paranormal, it's like they're kind of trying to say, you can see, I mean, they can see you, but you can't see them. They're trying to blur out the camera screen. Creepy as shit, I'll say that much. Damn. This one, I have, I actually have no clue when we took this, but um, I, I this could be debunked in multiple ways. I It could be a spirit, it could be like a missed figure, but then again, it could also be our breath going through the camera because it was very cold at Ashmore. That's why it's on the footage of Ashmore. I warn you guys just to be careful because like some of it is missed from our breath. I've got my eye on you. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. Good thing we already got the I see a face. See? It's going it go like right here. Like right over here? Yeah, it's like <laughs> kind of down. I feel that picture. No, 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 no. I feel like the horse has a better smile than him. <laughs> it was only like a four foot horse, too, and just to think Ryan was that short. <laughs> His face, like he did, <laughs> he didn't want to be there. We put. <laughs> That's my boyfriend right there. I love him. <laughs> I want his cheeks. Let's move on that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's worry. The horse or me? You. The horse looks happier than you. <laughs> Actually, if anything, you look more retarded than the horse. I absolutely love that we got this one. This one is a masterpiece. I love this. It's it's so clear and obvious. We we went through this like um we went through the like options of what it could be. We went through okay, who was with us when we were taking this photo? Who was up there? Where did we take it? Where was everyone at? And what could it possibly be? We debunked it as being nothing but a spirit because there's nothing else that could have created that big year like that. We ran through to see where everyone was and it's so obvious that it's a spirit. 
Obviously, there's an apparition. Dude, it actually looks like a person, like an arm, a leg, like a head. Wait, you've never seen that picture before? I think Jared showed me one time about it, but I never really like looked into it. Is it, are you sure it's not like dust or like a spider web or anything like that? Or How this? could that be a spider web? Well, I'm saying like from back, I'm like maybe. Oh, no, shit. And Wait. then there's like a, even a shadow in the background. Do you see that? That's a painting. Oh, it's a painting? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, it looks like a per like almost like an like a person. That one actually is pretty shocking. There were a lot of people I know at school when we showed it to we showed it to a few people. A lot of them were asking like if we edited that. Most people tried debunking it. But it's like that's like 100% legit. There was a weird presence in that room. Whenever you turn the corner, there's that painting on the wall in the back with that shadowy kind of person on the wall. Whereas there's someone shadowy in the middle of the room. I feel like that just kind of like set the perfect feeling for the room. And I feel like there was also like a meaning behind that painting on the wall. Like I feel like someone saw that when they were making the haunted house and they were just painting what they saw about the room, like what they felt about the room. I don't know, to me, you guys, so you guys, like, sounds like to me you guys had, like, a lot of activity there. I don't know if you guys did or not, but, I mean, I wouldn't mind going. I think it would be a lot of fun, I think. It'd be a little bit better just because, like, I think you guys said it's a lot bigger and it's not as, like, clustered and shit. And I think that'd be nice, so. I mean, if you guys want to go, like, a second time or whatever. How do you feel about me telling you that we're going back to Ashmore? I'm kind of yeah, psyched because I've never been there before, but like I said, I've heard from a lot of people that, you know, it's, you know, that there's a lot of um, activity there and shit like that, but, you know, things going to be exciting. I think it's going to be pretty good, so. Now, what if I told you that we are returning to Ashmore this summer? I'd like it because it's a place that we can all, not only is it we didn't finish business there, it's somewhere for the rest of the crew that wasn't there in the beginning to go. So it's gonna be a, it'd be a good experience. And it'd be jam packed with a lot of footage and evidence. So it'll, I think it'll give us one step closer to finding out what's going on after death. Would you ever want to go back to Ashmore? Oh God, yeah, I love it. What if I told you that we are going back to Ashmore this summer? You already told me you were, it's like telling your children you're going to Disney World, and then you take them to the dentist. <laughs> and then you took it to Disney World. I'm excited to go back to Ashmore. Ashmore is a very interesting place. Tons of things happen inside of Ashmore that I want to redeem myself with. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little photo analysis. And I hope you guys enjoy what's coming with Ashmore Estates for return. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. Also, subscribe. That's all I can say.